Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is Vitun Joshil once again. Hopefully all of you are engaging with me in this series of discussion on common mental health issues. I welcome you all today in this session of a brief talk on a topic of word sound irritation through the talk and story YouTube channel. You may read my blog posts in you are not alone blog site. You are not alone 2021 wordpress.com for such and similar topics on common mental health issues. You may like, share and subscribe the channel if you so desire. In today's discussion, let us refer to someone's asking, I feel irritated at intermittent weird sounds coming from all around me. How do I redress myself to get a relief. To start with, ask yourself that if any sound of domestic varieties like home calling, bell ringing or kitchen utensils falling and appliances running, washing machine humming, phone ringing, furniture dragging, hard items dropping onto the floor or table, fan rotating at high speed, tap water discharging at high volume, and the like perturbs and distracts you. You may be highly annoyed, angered, and losing control with the high volume of noise of black loudspeakers, building meeting, civil and mechanical works, motor honking, aeroplane flying at lower height, running gen set, and other rotating machines, puja bells, beating drums and cymbals at temples, etc. In psychology, this phenomenon of irritability to noise is defined as a phobia called misophonia. It is natural and normal that if the noise level goes above maximum bearable decibel level, human capacity refuses to accept it at ease and internal human systems start reacting adversely. Depending upon individual resistibility, the reaction level is determined. For example, someone may be seen preparing for examination or writing annual budget while working from home, even amidst blaring loudspeaker at a local puja pandal or temple behind the apartment. Someone else might quite naturally cannot perhaps even resist his reaction if someone talks aloud while he is watching TV or working on laptop. While 40 to 50 decibel is considered to be very safe noise level for human ears, 60 to 70 decibel is considered safe but above 85 decibel is considered alarming for human ears. 150 decibel of noise level may rapture eardrums. We live in a country where high level of noise generation by deliberate act of our fellow citizens is considered as a normal phenomenon, like puja, bhajan, and azam being played on loudspeakers. High volume DJ music instruments played in puja panels or social functions or political gatherings are a matter of regular affairs. It is difficult to get rid of such undue noise hazards as the law enforcing agencies are either not effective or efficient to tackle the situation or they are hand in glove with the noise pollution creators like religious or social or political groups who are large in numbers opposite a single protester like you. In such a situation, it is wise to take a pragmatic approach of self-defense rather than reacting and taking offense against the violators violently or even legally. Measures like noise eliminating or resounding devices and appliances may be taken help of in a situation of extreme hazards. Soundproof windows, earplugs, earphone, shutting windows and doors, creating a counter sound like turning on the AC, moving into another soundproof room, listening to music or audio talks, 
etc could be resorted to get temporary relief <laughs> meditation is the best method to distress your mind from any distraction whatsoever by any volume of noise in the event of an extreme situation imagine a calm and quiet place with scenic beauty that withdraws your mind gradually from the distracting noise watch a meditation sound video to support your effort to concentrate forget and forgive policy would help you to relax your mind as an aftermath certainly do not ignore to pacify possible the noise creators and generators to consider your pain and agony and reduce the volume hope all this help relax in calm and silence that was all for the session please keep watching this blog site and uploads on the token story youtube channel from time to time the short articles posted and stories and talks uploaded are expected to be beneficial for your common mental health issues please do not hesitate to contact and comment if you need an app listener sympathizer storyteller and solution seeker listen to engaging talk and stories to seek inner peace and calm in life thank you for your patient watching and listening have a nice time ahead and never forget that you are not alone we are together to seek solution to your personal problems always speak up and speak out goodbye till then thank you bye bye if your voice has been choked by mental condition or you do not find an app listener to your version of a story you are not alone this is a unique initiative to help you speak up and speak out your mind never feel you are truly alone even if you are we are always with you ready to share a story together at is do not hesitate to let us know do you want to get rid of loneliness Do you want to share your story? Do you want to enjoy storytelling? Do you want to speak up your mind? Do you want to forget your painful past? Do you want to begin a joyful living? Visit the following links to know more about us. You are not alone 2021 wordpress.com website. Community counseling Facebook page. and you are not alone 21 linkedin profile if you have questions please mail to mawmawconsultants@gmail.com stay calm and vibrant